Hello and welcome back to match four. This is Old Man Pool. Hmm. I am not the best at evaluating five landers. I think this is a deck that wants to hit its land drops consistently, but it's maybe too many. I am going to keep. Um, I can see arguments for Mulligan in this hand. Thorn Moloch's not the best on its own, especially on defense. Guild Stardown's kind of slow, but I think it's better than the random six we're going to get. At least in a vacuum. If my opponent's playing a really aggressive deck, I think I mulligan this, but he's playing more run of the mill, just like good value deck. This is going to be okay. Okay, well, at least we can cycle that. Hey, that looks very similar. <gasps> Cheater playing ramp in your green, green, red ramp deck. How is that even fair? Okay, this is too many lands though. Knock it off. We started with five and we've drawn two more. The shame. Oh, I'm just punching us. It's fine. Better than him ramping out like a crocodile with a cross lane or something. Eh, you have a nice last turn. Eh? Hmm. I kind of don't like throwing the Kindled Fury just into the vacuum right now. I think I'm just going to play the Moloch and trade. Or at least offer to trade. If he has a trick or a kill spell or whatever, I think I'm okay with that. Kindled Fury into open mana, especially when my opponent hasn't played too many spells yet. It's kind of dangerous. Like, odds are he's got some sort of interaction. If he doesn't, it's a pretty good blowout, but if he does, it's disappointing. Stalwart before combat. It's a little interesting. No swing. You've got like overcome or something. The most obvious reason, I think. He does. We're uh, in trouble. Do not have a great way of interacting with that right now. On the other hand, if we draw like our Hellion and just stall for a couple of turns, we're in a great spot. So. Sardon. Just gonna keep waiting here, looks like. Um, this is really good if he exerts, because he can't be blocked with creatures with power two or less. So we just get to blow him out pretty good. Power right, or less. Yeah, that's kind of a crazy interaction. I think if I was my opponent there, I would have swung for sure. Would not have expected that, but... It works out pretty well for us all the same. Okay. That's not a land, at least. So, we'll play Gilded Saradon of our own. Although my opponent's going to get first crack here. Hmm. Overcome is bad. Nope. Ritualist. If he swings here, we do get a crack back at least. We're losing the race, but not dramatically. Yeah, interesting. Okay. Uh, I don't think I'm going to double block it. I'm just not that sad about that. Nice. Ambuscade is, continues to be just fantastic. So I think we're going to swing with everything here. We'll remove the Oasis Ritualist if he wants to block. We maybe will ambuscade in response or something. Yeah, that was a fantastic draw. And the fact that our Saradon's on right now is pretty nice. A little bit worried that he just plays like Sandworm Convergence or something, which is why he's being a little bit passive, but... Hey. Yeah, sure. I think I care that much. Eh, maybe we do want to use Ambuscade. And get the last little bit in right now. Just 
kill that off, maybe. I don't think the Thresh Lizard matters as much. I'm a little bit worried about him just dumping a huge card next turn. I guess maybe we should have Amiscade before combat then. Eh. And then we could remove like the... Uh, I don't even know what we would have gotten rid of. Or do you want to get rid of his Ceradon? Ritualist Matter. Please. Like Sifter Worm next turn, it's bad for us. There's a chance he can play that. You know, he's turning off the Vitalist. Maybe he doesn't care about the mana then. I think I'm going to kill the Ceradon. Maybe he's thinking this will be enough, then it doesn't need anything else. It's possible too. So, barring my opponent playing a big threat here, which is definitely a possibility, we're not in a terrible spot. Sifterworm's, like, fantastic, but we actually can still get rid of it with the Ceradon and force through a little bit of damage. Eh, it's still a bad spot. He plays, like, what else is big? Greater Sandworm I don't care about as much. Oh no. Black. Lethal Sting? Yes, okay. Not bad. As plays you could have there that get us. That one's not the worst though either. I guess I'll swing next turn. He has to trade like a Thresher Lizard off. And his Ritualist is a little bit of peril. That's assuming he doesn't play something here, but. Ooh, swing. M. Onto block. I think I am okay with blocking. Hmm. Especially, well, you play something at instant speed, then we're really sad, aren't we? Because this gets too big. Yeah, never mind. Dangerous. Dangerous. Well, let's go to the races here. See if he has like a random removal spell or something. I think I'm up to five. We don't have any follow up though. Part of keeping that five land hand that's coming back to bite us a little bit, but for the most part, it's gone okay. If he hadn't had the kill for the Ceradon, we were in great shape, but even with that, we're not dying, dying, I don't think. I wonder if he has something like Sandworm Convergence and he's just... Well, no, I think there's no way he would have used the Vitalist to block then. He's got to have stuff, so he's not playing lands. But I don't think he can have anything like crazy big either. Mm. Double black. That is scary. <laughs> it's double black. It's not a bomb. I have like Torment of Venom. Oh, can you do it for Hmm, I want to bet he... Oh no, it's got two black. Power of Glory. Alright, removal spells everywhere. Well, I'll take our four. Do you need to find something that interacts? Yeah, that counts. Uh, that hits remarkably hard next turn if he doesn't have a blocker. <laughs> That was funny though. It's like, did he mean to exert? Yes, he just had two black removal spells. So he has to have a blocker for this guy. Okay. Ooh, ah, oh, that's not quite enough, is it? Well, we'll still play it and still swing. Even though it actually, uh. Fair incredibly well. If he does block here, we can pump heck out of the frontline devastator and get him and if even if he's got something else we can bring the camera back from the dead so this is kind of a 4-4 a that delays a turn a lot of the time like you can't play it immediately but you can get to it eventually okay. 
Take my point down to one here. He kills the Kenra. We got a pretty good swinger. Swinger. <laughs> um, it's weird. Yeah, maybe he's just really tight on black. Maybe he's went three colors and he just hasn't ever hit a swamp, so he's using the Ritualist, but everything in his hand is black and he kind of can't get things done as quickly as he wants. The best case for scenario for my opponent is he has some sort of like wall like the Pharaoh. Oh, well, there you go. Well, Forgotten Pharaohs is pretty dang good. The Kenra can't actually get through then, and which means I can't bring it back as a bigger version. I'll be able to jump block with it at some point, but... Fall. Oh, okay. Alright, we're back to top deck mode. Yeah. Not the best card. My opponent is at one. The wall is going to start pinging us next turn. <laughs> this has been a top deck war for a while now. Uh oh. Ooh, Decimator Beetle is a house. Put that on the Pharaohs. No. Hmm. Well, it's kind of nice, actually. We can kill the Ritualist. So if he has any more black cards, they're stranded. He's got a lot of black removal. Add a counter, kill that guy. And my opponent's not in a position where he can really afford, well I guess he could afford to attack. He could put the counter there, but then the quarry hauler eats the wall. That's not very good. It was a close game. Ugh. Estimator beetle. Too good. Oh man. Well, I can play any of these cards now. Yep. Imagine he shrinks the quarry hole. Ooh. Oh. It's going for damage, huh? Okay. Well, I guess we're gonna block. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Woohoo! That is a great draw. We just go for lethal? What are the odds he has something? Not real high, right? I guess maybe I should have played the Blood Rage Brawler. No, because we can't play the Blood Rage Brawler. We can't be scared, that's right. All right, we got there. A couple of good draws that were at the end. Okay, so he's playing, I think just three colors. It feels like his red was, I don't know, we didn't see anything nuts in red. I think he's just three colors, base green. Okay. Um, I am gonna bring in Chandra's Defeat for the first time. I don't think these are Great. He might be playing like Manolith, but we didn't see that. Okay, what do we want to pull out? Is Kindled Fury just not that exciting? Feels good if we're going to be in a round fight, which it seems likely we are. But on the other hand, it kind of looks worse than all of our other cards, so. Chandra's Fury is a better version, certainly. Alright, let's submit. Let's see if we can sneak away with another game here. Ooh, well, I got a mulligan. Unfortunate. Um, this hand isn't bad, though. Can we keep it? Um, hmm. I think I'm going to put that on top. I think there's a decent chance we'll find more lands along the way. My only real trepidation there was maybe whether we wanted to bottom it to try and find green, but... We'll use the Henra here to get in. Ask whatever he plays. Counts. Do we just want to trade life? I think with what we've got so far, we do. Especially because he can always just swing past that, and that feels pretty bad. Those are gonna put 
they can't block on my guy and give him the option to block, which I don't think he would, but maybe that was correct. It's kind of interesting to think about. Ooh, Harsh Mentor. Harsh Mentor doesn't hit Eternalize, it's not on the battlefield. I don't think he blocks. We have a Moloch which can swing next turn. We have Puncturing Blow to kill off something. Oh, okay. Swing Exert? No. Hmm. I wonder if there's any merit in blocking. I don't really love blocking. Leave our Kenra back next turn and deal with Harsh Mentor if we want to. We're just gonna take it. Play something big here, we'll puncture and blow it. Play something little, we'll just swing. Assume my opponent just takes that. Play a Moloch. Opponent is stuck on lands, and he doesn't have any black, at least we can see. So it's possible that he doesn't have a ton of playable cards in his hand. Okay, Archer's not bad. Ooh, Kardashian Zeal. Okay. That's gonna get Puncturing Blow. That does get him in for some damage right now. So we're probably going to use the Thorn Mullet to trade for like the Mentor here. I think that's okay. Just to avoid taking too much damage. Now, what is the Mentor actually going to do that much? Maybe we should trade for the Stalwart. Yeah. Means he doesn't have the opportunity to trade up at some point in the future. And the only thing I can think of is the exert. Oh, that's a trigger ability, right? Yeah. Huh. I don't really think there's anything that gets us. Nice. So we can play the Champion of Veronis and just offer to trade, or we can play the Puncturing Blow and hit my opponent. I'd say that's a little bit of a safer play. He's going to swing with this next turn, almost certainly. Champion of Ronis doesn't really have an extra target right now. It's a little bit nice because it blocks the Harsh Mentor really well. It just has like a removal spell for it. It's pretty bad though, right? We just die. We swing with both. I think I'm going to play a little more conservatively. I don't want to let this Thresher Lizard get down um, to uh, an A5-5 either. Just kill that guy right now. And let's get in with our Moloch. That way, even if he has a re removal spell, I guess this does lose us. We lose to Oncrop Crasher. I didn't think about that, but... This is only one card. It's uncommon. He only had two packs of that. Possibly just doesn't have it. Yeah, see, I'm fine with that. And I imagine he doesn't want to trade either of these cards for the Kenra, so... I think we're maybe turning the, the corner on stabilizing. In large part because my opponent just can't draw beyond three lands. Although, I guess he cycled away the desert. Hmm. Maybe he just has tons of black. Possible. Well, let's swing with our just our Moloch. I still like leaving the camera back, just because I'd love to trade this for a card. We'll play our champion. And just pass the turn here. 
is more or less just a 3-3 for 4, but a 3-3 on a board of uh, two power creatures looks pretty good. <laughs> In the world of tutus, the 3-3 is king. We'll play. Yeah, I think he's just really stuck on lands. Kinda nice. So we can just use this, make this guy kind of big. We can maybe force some jump blocks. Or maybe just wait another turn. Excuse me, I shouldn't have shown that. I don't know if he has a removal spell. We drop this on like this guy and swing. He probably double blocks the Moloch. We trade for one, take seven. I think I'm okay with that. And then if he kills off the Kenner, it's not even that bad for me. Rip. You had a good life. Oh yeah, I always forget about that. That does count. This is such a like innocuous ability and limited that most of the time I don't even think about it. And that is a pretty big punishment. I kinda like swing with everything. The problem is if he has a spell, like if he has a kill spell, we just lose then. Uh, yeah, that was a mistake. That makes that play a lot worse. The fact that he's considering blocking those. Probably an indication he doesn't have a kill spell. Or maybe he's hoping we use a, a trick. It's just so dangerous if we swing with everything and he kills one. Or even just like throw us a counter somewhere. We lose pretty fast. Although, I guess he has a kill spell for Champion of Rona, so at least he'd just kill us anyway. That should just swung. Yeah, that was a mistake. Yeah. Got thrown off my game a little bit by the, the trigger. Need to remember that. One of these days I'm gonna kill myself for the harsh mentor on play. I'd say, hmm. Alright, well, we did get there though. That was a little bit of a punt. Yeah, my opponent just never got more than three lands. Although, cycling the desert was kind of risky. Maybe, like I said, maybe just had all black or something. But, uh, got there. We're 3 1 going to our last match. Hopefully, you can plot that sick 4 1. I'll see you guys there.